What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Josh, and we're back at it again on the Kicks and Bricks channel. Man, your boy just finished doing a video for the Lost and Found shock drop that happened last week. I reviewed the sneakers, made sure they were all good because there was a lot of miscommunication, a lot of bad, you know, things flowing around the net about B grades and stuff being sent out. But I ain't gonna talk about that. Y'all wanna know? Just go ahead and catch the video that I posted, just load it up, go ahead and check it out, y'all. But today's video, man, I've been slacking on the Lego time lapses. What I've been doing is I've been kind of like doing little bits and pieces of the videos here and there, and I just haven't finished them up. So but right now, this is what we're gonna finish up right now, right? We're gonna finish up those videos right now. But before I get to that, I wanna thank y'all. We, we are about 357 subscribers right now, man. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. And I'm almost at the halfway point for the uh, total amount of hours needed. Hey, thank y'all again, thank y'all again, and thank y'all again. Make sure y'all hit that like button, and make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, and make sure y'all hit the ding ding for the notification bell so that I get you know notified every time I upload these videos to y'all, okay? So today's Lego time lapse is, um, it's a set that wasn't pretty, you know, I'd say popular, you know, it didn't do well with sales. You see them popping up every now and then with um, sales, um, you know, like in Target and Walmart and stuff, didn't do good. Wasn't a popular set, but I think it's a good looking set. It's not an original uh, plane uh, per se in the Star Wars, uh, you know, universe, but it's pretty dope. I liked it. And it's got a character in it that is pretty cool and a pretty cool villain. So the, um, the set that I'm talking about is the, right here, boom, the Star Wars, Lego Star Wars, the Justifier. And like I said, it wasn't a popular set with a lot of people, but I like it because of the mechanics on it, how it transforms. And I like it because it brought Cad Bane with it. Right down here, y'all. Oh, wait, wait, make sure, yep, Cad Bane five mini sets and it's pretty pretty big set i mean it's a thousand pieces it's gonna be pretty easy for your boy to you know get this done pretty quick but hey we'll see we'll see how it turns out we're gonna do this time lapse real quick and put this in front of the camera get it down on the table get it going we're gonna finish this thing out real quick y'all all right that's enough talking let's get to the business let's get to this time lapse let's get it Yo, well, here we got the Star Wars, Lego Star Wars, the Justifier ship that was released, I think, last year sometime. And she is a pretty big baby. I'd say a decent size. He weighs a little bit, for sure. And it was pretty uh, a pretty nice build. I like the little, some of the mechanics on here. Uh, excuse me, the linkages, as far as uh, some of the moving parts. This tail comes up. And it also, when it comes up, it brings up the landing gear that's on the side. 
which is right here, as you can tell, right? So watch, I'm gonna sit here and move this forward. Hopefully it doesn't break apart on me, but as you can see, yep, I retracted the landing gear. So I think that was pretty cool. So and here is the view of the ship with the tail end retracted. I guess that's the flying configuration right there because the uh, engines are behind it, that's so. So it was a pretty dope uh, build. I liked it a lot. Comes with, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five figures. Little droid, got Fennec Shand, Omega, the Hunter, and basically the biggest villain of, uh, of this, um, excuse me, the biggest villain of the set and you know of the uh, newer series. This uh, set comes with uh, one, two, three, four, five minifigures. The set comes with five minifigures. One, two, three, four, five. It's got a little droid, Fennec Shan, Omega, Hunter, and the infamous Cad Bane. And I like the way they got Cad Bane in there. It's pretty, uh, pretty dope, you know? Got him tucked in like that, dual gun. Pretty dope uh, figurine right there. Oops, oops, looks like I dropped him. But yeah, it's uh, definitely a cool set. Uh, opens up a lot of compartments. Here's the uh, top compartment right there. Let's took that out. The wings flap up to reveal some of the mechanics and you know, somewhere to store extra missiles for the sides. You can see right there. The inside right there. I wish I could uh, get some more light in there, but the inside isn't none, isn't anything crazy. Nothing uh, in that, you know, fancy or anything like that, but uh, it's, uh, like I said, it's pretty, it was pretty well thought out and built. Uh, this is probably the only compartment you could actually put because the back here there's really nothing in there. I don't remember. I mean, I know there's a back door that drops down, but I don't remember anything in there that you can store. So, but it is just a like a transport type vehicle, so. I don't imagine they would have stuff in the back like that. But yeah, this was a good build. I liked it. Um, didn't take me long to build it either. It's you know, around a thousand pieces. So that's typically like three to four hours for me, depending on how focused and uh, uninterrupted I am. So, all right, y'all. Well, let me know what y'all think about the Star Wars Lego The Justifier. I, I, I dig it. I'm gonna have to find a way to hang this one because I don't have a 3D wall mount for it. So it's gonna hang from the ceiling in the in the game room because of that. So Alright y'all. Well, let me know what y'all think. If you liked it, don't like it, if you wanna pass on this one. And if y'all uh, just like the time lapse overall, let's get back in front of this camera. I'll find the comments and thoughts on the set, and we'll take it from there. Let's get it. All right, y'all, well, that was the review of the Lego Star Wars Justifier. Right here, y'all. Check it out. She was beautiful. I liked it. It's pretty dope. Lots of nice minifigures. Cool mechanics with it. Being able to transition like that. Bringing up the landing gear and such like that. Cool set overall. I don't care that it wasn't popular. I think it's going to look dope. Hanging from the ceiling like this. Because that's how I'm going to hang it, from the ceiling. Look it down like that, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know in the comment section if y'all like this uh, set. If y'all don't like it. If y'all going to pass it on it. If y'all going to wait till they catch, you know, catch it on sale or something like that. And just, you know, let me know overall what you thought about the build. So, thanks for sticking by. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for hanging out with your boy. While all those Lego pieces were going everywhere. I appreciate it much, y'all. Just remember to hit that like button. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Remember to hit that notification bell. All right, y'all. I got another Lego video coming after this one. Uh, I'm gonna do another time lapse. I'm gonna post it up and go from there, y'all. All right. Well, until next time, y'all. It's your boy Josh. We on the Kicks and Bricks channel. Keep locked in. And as always, 
Highlight, boa.